Good evening. I'd like to call to order the Waterworks Board meeting for May 12th, 2021 at 7.06 p.m. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Mrs. Teal, would you please take roll call? Mr. Conley? Present. Mr. Schmidt? Here. Mrs. Arbonitis? Here. Mr. Johnson? Present. Mr. Getzloff? Present. Attorney Austin? Present. Fire Chief Patterson? Present. Deputy Fire Chief Meyer? Here. Police Chief Sormaz? Here. Commander McNamara? Here. Park Superintendent Novosich? Here. Mr. Simstad? Here. Mr. Hewitt? Here. Mr. Gorman? Here. Mr. Goldman? Here. Robin Teal, present. Thank you. The Waterworks Board consists of three members, Tom Schmidt, Kevin Conley, and myself, Robin Arvanitis. The first item on the agenda of the Waterworks meeting is the minutes of the April 14th, 2021 meeting. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries three to zero. Next on the agenda is claims. Mrs. Teal, are there any additional claims? Move to approve claims. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Claims passed three to zero. Next on the agenda are reports. Are there any additional reports, Mr. Volkman? No reports. Are there any reports from the council members? No reports. None, ma'am. There is no old business on the agenda. There is no new business. At this time, is there any business from the floor regarding the Waterworks Board? Any business from the floor? This meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Call the order of the Redevelopment Commission meeting for Wednesday, May 12, 2021. The time is 7.08 p.m. Um, for the Redevelopment Committee uh, Commission meeting, we'll bring in Councilman Caleb Johnson and Councilman Rob Getzloff into the roll call. Uh, minutes of the April 14th, 2021 public meeting. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This is 5 0. Uh, motion on claims. Uh, so moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5 0. Any reports from staff? No reports. Council members? No report. No reports. Okay. We have no old business. We have no new business. Any business from the floor regarding redevelopment? Any business from the floor regarding redevelopment? Any business from the floor? This meeting is adjourned. Good evening. I'd like to call the Shareable Utility Board Commission meeting for Wednesday, May 12th at 7.08 p.m. First, the roll call will stay the same as the Redevelopment Commission. First item on the agenda is the minutes from the April 14th public meeting. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries 5-0. Claims. Any additional claims, Mrs. Teal? Thank you. Any reports, Mr. Volkman? No reports. Motion to motion. Oh, claims. I'm sorry. I need a motion for claims. Move to approve claims. Second. We have a motion. We have a second on claims. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries 5-0. Reports, uh, Mr. Volkman, any reports for utilities? No reports. Mr. Gorman? No reports. Mr. Hewitt? No report. Thank you. Council members? No, no sir. report. No reports. We have no old business, no new business. At this time, I'll open it up to the floor. Any comments for uh, regarding utilities? Any comments regarding utilities? No comments. This meeting's adjourned. We'll move right into the town council meeting. I'd like to call the town council meeting to order at 710 for Wednesday, May 12th, 2021. We'll accept the same roll call from the utility board. We'll go right on to the minutes of the April 14th, 2021 public meeting. Pleasure of the board. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Uh, claims, any additional claims, Mr. Volkman? No additional claims. Pleasure of the board. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. 
Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Any reports uh, from staff? Mr. Neal? No, Mr. President. Mr. Hewitt? No report. Chief Sormas? Yes, sir, we have one, one announcement to make. Okay. Uh, this Friday, May 14th, we'll be holding our annual police memorial mm -hmm. across the street right next to the 911 memorial. This year it's going to be a little bit of a modified due to COVID uh, last year, and it's kind of winding down. So we're going to, for the safety of our community, we're going to encourage social distancing and have a modified memorial service. So guests are welcome to come anytime between 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., and we're having a prayer service at 12 noon across the street. So there'll be officers posted throughout the day between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So everyone feel free to stop by. Okay, thank you. Chief Deputy Steve? Anything? No. Uh, Chief Patterson. Just report that uh, for the month of April, we ran 301 uh, calls of uh, 301, 264 were EMS related. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Deputy Chief Dave? No report. Okay. John, anything? No report. Okay. Did I forget anybody out there? No. Mr. Volkman, anything? No reports. Okay. Council members? Mr. Gorman, anything? Mr. President. Okay, I'm sorry. Mr. President. Yes. Um, Mr. Patterson, I, 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 I wanted to make a comment about uh, we attended the, uh, the installation of the baby box uh, last week, and I thought it was a tremendous uh, presentation. The uh, speakers, it was heart-wrenching listening to some of, some of the stories. Uh, can you just comment real quick on that? Yeah, so last Tuesday we had our uh, unveiling of our uh, Safe Baby um, um, baby box at Station 2. Um, after that presentation, the uh, box is now officially open um, and, uh, in, in ways you hope that it's never used, but in, in a good way you hope it is utilized uh, in the event that uh, somebody wants to surrender their child. Um, it, it, as you said, it was a beautiful, it, it was a cloudy, rainy day, but it turned out to be a beautiful ceremony that uh, a lot of people attended and a lot of council and I do appreciate everybody that was there and uh, all the support from Tri-Kappa for run it, raising the money to uh, have that baby box installed at absolutely no cost to the fire department or the town at all, including the alarm systems and uh, the brickwork and everything that was done. So we appreciate all the help. Excellent. Anything else, Mr. Schmidt? No, nope. no, nope. thank you. Nope. you. Caleb? Uh, no report. Robin? No. Okay. Josh? No. All right. Uh, public comment uh, regarding agenda items from the public. Anybody have any uh, comments regarding tonight's agenda? Any comments regarding tonight's agenda from the public? Hearing none, we'll close the floor. There is no old business, so we will go right on to new business. Ordinance number 1966 is an ordinance mending town ordinance number 1207 being an ordinance establishing a law enforcement aid or confidential petty cash fund repealing all ordinances and town code provisions or parts thereof and conflict herewith and all matters related thereto. Mr. Volkman. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Clerk Treasurer Mike Troxell has, was uh, implementing some new petty cash funds for the Park Department for their concession stand that they're going to be operating in Rorman. In so doing, he reviewed all of the petty cash funds, and in reviewing that, the confidential uh, petty cash fund that the police department maintains, which I think is used for undercover operations. Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. Um, was was pretty low. You know, I. I so he was basically just updated. He con I know he talked to Chief Zormas, uh, got a recommendation. So this is upgrade, up, putting a little more funds in there to bring it up because I think it's probably been 10, 15 years since yeah. that's been touched. So absolutely. Okay. Pleasure of the board. Move to approve Ordinance 1966. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Move to adopt. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Ordinance number 1967 is an ordinance amendment to town ordinance number 989 being an ordinance establishing a petty cash fund for the police department for the town of Cherville, Lake County, Indiana, 
and declaring that an emergency exists, repealing in all ordinances and town code provisions or parts thereof in conflict herewith, and all matters related thereto. Mr. Volkman. Again, this is just, this increased the, I think it was 25 or $50. It was $30. How much? It was $30. $30. Increased their petty cash fund to $100. Okay. Those are for incidental costs from day-to-day -day operations. Okay. Very good. Motion to... Mr. President, yes. motion to uh, approve Ordinance 1967. Second. second. A motion and second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Motion to adopt Ordinance 1967. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Ordinance number 1968 is an ordinance establishing a park and recreation department petty cash fund for the park concessions for the town of Sherrillville, Lake County, Indiana, repealing all ordinances and town code provisions or portions thereof in conflict herewith and all matters relating thereto. Mr. Volkman. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, since the park department has taken over operations of the concession stand at Roman Park, it was necessary to establish a uh, petty cash fund, basically the bank for the Concession stand of five hundred dollars. Uh, pleasure of the board. Move to approve, Mr. President. Ordinance nineteen sixty-eight. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries five zero. Move to adopt Ordinance nineteen sixty-eight, Mr. President. We have a motion to adopt. Second. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries five zero. Ordinance number 1969 is an ordinance of the town of Sherrillville, Lake County, Indiana, establishing ARP, Local Fiscal Recovery Grant Fund for the town in uh, conformance with uh, provisions of applicable law and all matters related thereto. Mr. Volkman. Mr. Chairman, this is establishing, uh, according to the federal guidelines, an ARP fund uh, so that the town can receive and receipt in the monies as they come from the federal government. Uh, there are certainly a lot more standards that are starting to roll into place on how these dollars can be used. Um, it's highly regulated, like I had told you earlier, there was a 151-page directive on how to use the funds, which has been reduced now to a summary. But uh, yeah, this is only the start of what we'll probably be legislating for the use of these funds. Okay, thank you, Mr. Volkman. Pleasure of the board. Mr. President, I motion to approve Ordinance 1969. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Motion to adopt Ordinance 1969. Second. second. Motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Resolution 2021-8 is a resolution to transfer funds within a category of appropriations. Mr. Volkman. Um, as you can see in the resolution, it's uh, transferring from various funds in just about all departments from one line item to another. It's pretty standard. Okay. Pleasure of the board. Move to approve resolution 2021-8. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries 5 0. Appointment of Deputy Chief of Police, Chief Thormas. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. As of, as of May 7th, 2021, Deputy Chief Cook retired from our police department, which created an opening for Deputy Chief. And tonight I'm recommending to the council to affirm Steve McNamara as a Deputy, Ch Deputy Chief. Steve McNamara is currently our patrol commander and has been with the Sherville Police Department for about 21 years. Steve, Mc, Steve Mc, McNamara is our, also our firearms coordinator, firearms instructor, field training officer coordinator, and holds numerous other certification. In addition to that recommendation, at last week's Board of Safety meeting, I recommended Steve McNamara as Deputy Chief and the Board of Safety affirmed my recommendation with the 5-0 unanimous votes. So tonight I'm asking the council to affirm Steve McNamara as our Deputy Chief. So we'd like that in the form of a motion. Mr. President. Yes. I move to appoint Steve McNamara to the position of Dep Deputy Chief of Police. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none. Mrs. Teal, will you call the roll call on the vote? Yes. Yes. Present. 
Yes. Yes. So that will, is there anybody, uh, well, I don't have to ask if anybody abstains or anything, so. All right, that approves, so 4-1. Congratulations, uh, Chief Deputy. Thank you. State. Congratulations. Congratulations. Chief McNamara. Also, Mr. President, yes. with the affirmation of Steve McNamara as our Deputy Chief tonight, that will, uh, that will uh, create a vacancy for our patrol commander. I would like to announce tonight Michael Bork as our next patrol commander. Michael Bork has six years of experience as, and is one of our shift supervisors at shift number four. Michael Bork is a firearms instructor, field training officer, SWAT team operator, SWAT team firearms coordinator, and holds several other certifications. I'd just like to congratulate Mike Bork and announce his appointment to patrol commander tonight. Okay, excellent. Can we give them both a hand, yes, please? Yes, they're both here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next is consider a sponsorship to Campania Academy annual fundraiser, Restoring Hope and Building Dreams 2021, scheduled online auction from September 2nd, 2021 through September 9th, 2021. Uh, we are, they are asking for a thousand dollar donation. Move the approval, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion? Second. 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 Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries 5-0. Consider acceptance of local roads and bridges matching grant agreement between the Indiana Department of Transportation and the Town of Sherrillville authorizes the Town Council President to execute necessary documents. $412,677.68 community crossing grant of 2021-1. Pleasure of the board. Motion to approve. Second. A motion is second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries 5-0. Uh, award mowing contract for 2021, Mr. Volkman. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Uh, last month we awarded a mowing contract to one vendor um, after we notified him that he was the successful bidder. He... Uh, was scrambling to put together crews together to take on all of our mowing. Um, after the first week of mowing, he informed us that he was not able to put crews together that could handle the volume of mowing that we had. Uh, so what we did is we uh, contacted the second vendor, next lowest bidder. He again informed us that he didn't have adequate crews that are having trouble filling their their staffing. So. What I did is I, we split the, the mowing between two contractors. So what I'd like tonight is for you to award a second mowing contract to R&R &R Landscaping Maintenance um, out of Moni, Illinois, wasn't it? Yeah. To uh, help, help basically the town with their mowing re obligations for this year. Okay. Pleasure of the board. Question before we move to a motion, uh, Bob, that that uh, splitting of the contracts will result in, a, in an increase in the cost to the town. It, um, it was. Do you know how approximately how much that's going to be? About thirty thousand dollars additional cost. So the original contract was one fifteen, I believe. So it'll add about thirty thousand to that. So it'll and, be about and it'll still end up saving us man hours it, by it, us well, not well, doing that. We have the same problem. We didn't get many many applicants for summer help so I, we would have trouble we wouldn't be able to mow it on anyways well we would have to pull all our full timers it would prevent us from doing some of the other maintenance work that we need to do plus when, last year when we did do it we didn't have any events right so this year we're still have a full schedule of events to to do plus you know mowing so it won't remove the town the town still does some mowing but it, it will be minimal mostly sports fields it's uh, money well spent. <clears throat> uh, motion to approve uh, awarding the split contract between Great Lakes and R&R &R Landscaping. As second. A, as opposed. We have a motion in this uh, second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Consider donation to the Northwest Indiana Cancer Kid Foundation, which is the Nick Foundation for Alex's Lemonade Stand, $1,000. Move to approve, Mr. President. This is, uh, Bob, this is a normal uh, donation that we make annually. Every year, yes. Move to approve, Mr. Chairman. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries 5-0. 
Consider acceptance of donations for $119.20. Mr. Volkman, can you read those sure. donations? Um, we have a donation fund for parks. Yeah, I'm not really sure what this is, but it was Candace and Compass Health pay overage donated $3.60. So it must have been a accounting error, uh, is what I'm guessing. And then Clarendale of Cherville donation for $0.60. Cents. So I'm figuring there's something happened there. So total park donation of $4.20. Uh, donation fund park police equipment, James Hart, $15. Uh, Darlene Seaver, $100. Total police equipment donation, $115. Total donations, $119.20. Okay. Move the approval, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion. Second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by, in, by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Before I take any business from the floor, uh, the month of May has always been designated to honor our fallen officers um, and also our officers are who, who are here in the town of Cherville. On behalf of the town council tonight, it's, it's really nice to see a, a, a good body of police officers here tonight in, uh, in support. But I'd like to say on behalf of myself and the council, we'd like to thank you for the fine job of you guys putting your life on the line every single day. So thank you, and we'd like to give you a hand. Thank you. At this time, I will take any business from the floor. Any business from the floor. If you have any comments, this is the time now to come up. Any business from the floor? Hearing none, this meeting is, in the, is adjourned. Have a good evening now. Thank you.